Hello friends. Now let's start to work with the first program that is uh, making so that I am making HTML page in the servlet and passing some information through the HTML. So for that first we need to make use of uh, installation of our NetBeans as well as JDK. So first let's check it out whether there is JDK present inside our PC. So what we do is we just go to the C drive. Inside the C drive we go for program files or program files x86 so most of the times we'll be having program files x86 here then inside this we'll be having java so here i have jdk 1.7 along with gre so this means that jdk is already been installed inside this pc then next uh, we need netbeans ide that is 7.4 which we are using for running this executing these programs so this can be downloaded by making use of the sites this one so uh, we just need to go to netbeans.org slash downloads old slash 7.4 and inside this we can download even this version or this version so i have downloaded this version which is more than sufficient for us which constitutes glassfish server then apache tomcat server then java card java fx and java ee which is most important for us so along with that we have netbeans platform sdk java se that is server server edition then ee which we are going to work here so from here we can download java netbeans then uh, some people may not be having jdk 1.7 so for that we have this website so just go to this website oracle dot java uh, oracle.com slash java slash technologies slash jdk7 netbeans downloads dot htm so this will install the netbeans partially not fully so first we need to install this jdk then after installing this we need to go back to this particular software and download this or this and try to install this so first initially i need to install jdk this one or this one that is windows x86 or windows x64 so normally we go for this one then next we have to install the netbeans ide from the netbeans.org file or org website so this is something about the installation now let us go to working of our program so first let's start the netbeans ide 7.4 which I have already installed. Installation is not a big deal. Uh, just you are getting uh, next button, next, 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 and so on. So while installing JDK, it will ask for the default path for uh, installing your uh, JDK. So the default path will automatically come there. So we don't need to worry about that. And when we are making use of the NetBeans, it will automatically search the path where JDK is being installed, and it is going to take it by default so there is no need to worry about that now let's start working with our first program which is dynamic html so for that first we will go to the file menu so inside this file menu we go for java web because it is making use of uh, html input and we are executing that inside the server which is also a web application so i'll go to web application then click on next so if I'm not making use of for NetBeans IDE, then I'm not going to get all these things. So we are just getting Java, Maven, PHP, Crew, and so on. So for that, we need to be careful and try to make use of the second installation of GDK, NetBeans IDE 7.4. Then only we are going to get all these options. Otherwise, you will be getting only Java, Java FX, Maven, PHP, Crew, and so on. So we'll go to web application then we click on next give the name to our uh, file uh, let us say um, dynamic html i will give the project name or now uh, the project is already existing so i will give dynamic data then just make use of the next option then the server will be clashfish by default and the version will be java E web uh, 7 and the context path will be the same we don't need to change that 
then click on next we don't need all these things we just go to finish then we can see towards the left of our uh, window we are getting a project which has been created in the form of dynamic data which is our project and here the default files have been are coming by default then here we can see that there is one file called as index.html which is being presented by default by our NetBeans software then towards the right we can see there is one more called as palette most of the times it is not present by default inside our system then what we do is we just go to windows then we go to IDE tools then just click on the palette then we'll be observing this palette uh, because we can type inside this particular editor but uh, making use of the palette makes our job very very simple now let us change the title for this so if you want to change the title we can change it otherwise you can just leave it it just depends upon this I'll give the title as dynamic HTML then these are the default things so we don't need to do anything with that then I will make use of deleting of the default option or default line make some space here then I'll create something called as form so just click on this and drag and drop inside our editor then you'll be getting this one so here we are inserting one form and where this form must go I'll just give the name as dynamic servlet as the next servlet program to which our input has to go so I will uh, make use of the method called as get and name I don't need anything I will just use ok see here we can see that automatic code has been generated here then I am just making use of some formatting here then we need two text boxes for reading the username and password just use the name as unm and see that whether text has been selected or not then click on close similarly one more text box here we need password so click on password give the name as pwd so here we can even make use of the width option also then I have given one password then we need one uh, submit button and reset button so we use submit button you can give any text here I am giving same submit click on ok then make use of one more submit button then here we need reset button for the second time so I will use reset so our program is done I will just give some label here enter pass uh, enter username then enter password so our html file has been done now let's go to create the servlet file so the servlet file go to new option then go to servlet then here I have given the name as dynamic servlet inside my file you can just check it out it is dynamic servlet see that the spelling is case sensitive so we need to be very careful here then click click on next then this is very important part which is called as deployment descriptor so we will just click the checkbox here which will create a web.xml file so finish so here the web.xml file has been created which is having dynamic servlet as a servlet name which is nothing but which is needed for our NetBeans software to run our servlet file so we have created dynamic servlet.java now what we do is we just make use of the code which we have already used inside our te uh, text so I'll just delete off all these things then copy the things from my 
password file close this so here it will have one error add at the rate of overwrite notation because do get method is already present inside the http servlet so we need one override method so after writing this override we will be able to execute our program so before executing the program just go to build the project which is for compiling the project on the whole so here we can see build successful now let's run the program so if i run the program just click here or you can go to this run option and run project so it will be opening the things inside the web browser so here we can see we have entered username and password i have not made any formatting here for the word html file so we are not getting anything so here we can see the output being caught from the html and being displayed inside the servlet file so this is about our first program so the main important things inside this program are first the import parts where we are using io exception then java.io.star will do the needful then uh, http servlet then we are using get parameter for reading the values from the html page then we are just making use of the print line statement and some html statements to print the things and using some cache block for working with the html so this is our first program okay 